Not gonna lie, I almost forgot that I have to actually make a video this Friday. Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome back to Arc Mod Review. This time I am going to be going through this particular mod that I've been very excited for a backport of called Draconis Glaucus, the ASC backport. So if you guys didn't know, there is a mod uh, of similar name for ASA and it's only available in ASA until now. The ASC backport is here and the person who made this actually got permission from the original mod creator. So I am very excited to go through this as this is probably a mod that I might add into my playthrough because of how cool and how good looking the drag this particular dragon is. And without further ado, let's uh, begin. So basically, this is the Draconis Glaucus, inspired by a real-life animal called the Glaucus Atlanticus, which I'll put up on the screen now. Yes, it is heavily inspired by this particular sea slug's design. In fact, this sea slug's diet also is this particular creature's diet. And the reason why that particular creature is venomous is the reason why this dragon is able to use the jellyfish of our powers. So before I go ahead and show you what this particular dragon can do, uh, let's figure out how do you even tame this beast. Well, first things first, you would have to go and find a wild one, which I need to find. But they aren't very hard to find, they're just like right here. Yes. Uh, this particular one is upside down, not because it is dying, but because it is in the state where you can feed it. So, you have to go up to a jellyfish, kill the jellyfish, pick up said jellyfish, move towards the... Go away. Move towards the sea dragon. I'll, I'll just call it uh, the... Dragon, what the fuck? Well, looks like I need to kill another one. Fuck. Okay, so we need to pick up the dead body of this jellyfish, go up to the sea dragon, and feed it. As how, you, as how you would a order. And once you feed it, uh, you don't, you won't see any taming bars. And in fact, when you mouse over it, you see that it is caught. It's like not tameable. That is because you actually have to feed it 10 times in order for it to engage in battle with you. So I'm just going to do that now. Uh, there we go. Alright, so once you feed it 10, it will proceed to challenge you. And when it's challenging you, you can see that the health bar above the head. I'm just going to um, shoot it a bunch with crossbow arrows, crossbow bolts rather. Come on, where are you? As you can tell, it's pretty fast, but let's, you know, let's try to fight it. Give me a moment. And once you defeat it, it will drop its egg and leave. So, this is how you actually tame the uh, Draconis Glaucus. You don't tame the creature itself, you actually pick up the egg and raise it. Similar to all other wyverns in the game. And all you need to do now is just uh, basically chuck this particular egg into a hatchery uh, and just or incubator and just hatch it. And once it's hatched, you grow it and you become this beautiful creature, the your very own Glaucus. Now, as you guys should know, this particular creature excels in the water. On land, it can come on land if you want to not let it, you know, be attacked by any underwater creatures like the spino over there even though I'm pretty sure he can fend for himself, but being on land does have its um, cons. As you can tell, on the top right hand corner, I have this effect that's uh, called drying out. So I will show you what happens if you are actually dried out. So I'm now completely dried out, and when, when in this state, I cannot run or use any electrical attacks. And as you can tell, I'm very much slow on land and I can't run at all. So best is to keep your Draconis Glaucus in the water. But once touching, once it touch water, or rather once it's in the water, it is very, very, very fast. In fact, I think it's the fastest uh, water creature ever. If you don't count them adding speed to anything. Now before I go through abilities, this particular creature does have a saddle. Uh, it requires chitin, 
or keratin, fiber, height, and metal ingot. Relatively cheap. Now to go over the abilities. First of the ability, which I'm going to show you once I find a creature big enough to tank my attacks, like this Megalodon here. First ability is its bite attack. This particular bite attack will, in fact, inflict topper if I'm not wrong. Yes, as you can tell, one bite from this guy can actually inflict topper. Around 200, I guess? So this particular creature, if you can, taming it early is very very good for taming other bigger creatures like Mosasaurus and whatnot. So now, right click is a stream of, well, electricity. This particular ability is very high in DPS, as you can tell, the guy's HP is just reducing by literally the millisecond. And it does drain this particular thing called Venom Charge at the bottom, which is a resource I'll explain later. Now, left control fires a orb, I guess? A orb of electricity that will paralyze creatures, or, or rather make creatures get electrocuted when it's close. And I think if it hits one of them, it will be much more than, yeah, if it hits one of them, you'll deal way more damage. However, the aiming of this particular ability is a bit weird because I'm, like, I'm aiming here but um, it just goes downwards so I think it's aiming to whichever direction your Draconis Glaucus is facing and the last of its ability that requires the most amount of venom charge is the X key which is just an AOE electric burst of electricity and as you can tell it uses up basically the entire venom charge bar and there is a way to fill up this particular Venom Charge Bar. As you can recall, at the start of this video, I said that this particular creature is uh, very faithfully similar to a real-life creature that feeds on jellyfish. So this particular creature actually feeds on jellyfish too, and it replenishes its Venom Charge by, well, eating the biotoxin from the jellyfish. And if I'm not wrong, this guy should be immune to stuns like stuns too because you know it's how it's built so all you need to do is just fill up fill this guy up with biotoxin and just shove his face or rather shove the biotoxin into its face and you'll be full charge again now that i have like full venom charge uh, i can't really use that ability again because it does have a 300 second cooldown so i'm just gonna skip forward in time until i can uh, show you guys again there we go uh, as you can tell, the damage is pretty high, it just wiped out literally anything nearby. So, yeah. And that's almost about it for this particular creature. However, there are still some things I would like to go through that um, will affect how you can use this creature in fights. Especially how you can use this creature in fights, actually. So, literally any or anyone who played Ark will know that all the Wyvern's Breath Attack has friendly fire. This particular dragon, however, does not have friendly fire on either of his abilities. So you can use this in the boss fight against the uh, giant eel, however you like, as your creatures will be safe from friendly fire. And yeah, that's it for the bot review for Draconis Glaucus. And honestly, my feedback about it is this: is that this particular mod. I really really like. I really like how this mod is. When it was out on ASA, I actually wished it was in ASE because I didn't want to buy ASA. And to be frank, this actually might be the beginning of the back pots from ASA back to ASE, which depends on whether how many people want a back pot or rather how many people wish for a back pot from Survivor Ascended back to Survivor Evolved. With that being said, this has been Kasu, and I hope to see all of you in the next video or stream. Bye! Yeah, I know you can't say bye, but just like, I'll shout, or like, right click or something, I don't know. I'm gonna do something. Yep, that works. Alright, bye!